everybody. Welcome back to this week's Tuesday Tip with Coach Joe and what myself. Up? Hope you're all doing well. Uh, this week, we're going to be talking about backstroke and specifically backstroke turns. So by far the most DQs that we had in our first meet of the season came from backstroke flip turns. And so that's why we're going to talk about them today. First and most basic concept that we want to go over today is making sure that we're measuring our distance from the wall correctly. If you're a novice swimmer, that means just making sure you know what your stroke count is. And if you're a little bit more advanced, what we want to make sure that we're doing is we're not too far from the wall because then we're going to lose the power from our spring. And if we're too close to the wall, we're going to get super jammed up, which we've all done before. So after we've properly distanced ourselves from the wall, making it that nice sweet spot of not too close or not too far away, we want to make sure that that transition stroke, the one that starts on our back and finishes on our front, we want to follow through with that freestyle catch, watching your hand pull as you like flip into the turn. The reason that we got so many DQs was that transition stroke, because we started it way too far away from the wall, we finished that freestyle pull with both hands down by our side and we glided into it. Okay, then in USA Swimming, that's not allowed. You wanna make sure that you're following through with that catch, watching your hand pull and going straight into that flip turn. Yes, 100%. And kind of just what Chris was saying already, if we're doing that correctly, your head should be staying down throughout that process. When you get from your back to your stomach, a lot of people then take the next step of, okay, I'm on my stomach, let's check where that wall is, and then we flip down. And we really wanna just completely cut out that step of the equation. Once you get to your stomach, keep your head down and lean downhill into that flip turn. That way we can harness all that momentum from switching to our stomach and just throw our feet at the wall. Well, thank you for joining this week's Tuesday Tip. I hope you enjoyed. Next week we'll be covering the timing of the press stroke breath and the kick. I hope to see you all there. Have a great rest of your week. See ya. Bye.